Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, in this video, we're going to be fixing the floating head with the MetaHuman Animator. Now, luckily, this is nothing new. I've actually faced this back in Unreal Engine 4, like beta MetaHuman. So, that being said, I'm not sure if this is the official way on how to fix this, but this is kind of like the way I've been dealing with this issue here and and i think i mentioned this method in one of my courses uh, so i'm gonna drag and drop our meta human here on the scene so you can see she's in here and i created an empty sequence and by the way if you don't know how to get to this point if you don't know how to use meta human animator check out my previous tutorial because there i'm going to show you how to do the whole meta human animator and migrate it to a new project so i already migrated the meta human animator solved in this one so watch that if you haven't seen it so first things first i'm going to remove this hair so that we get a little bit of a perf performance back and next we will add associate to the sequencer and in the track animation again i'm going to go to compile and if you are a youtube member check out the link in the community page I actually let you download this entire facial animation for you to mess around with then I'll go to body animation and I'm going to go with street light with this one. I'm choosing street light because I move my neck a lot in that one. Now, sometimes this is going to work fine, but sometimes you are going to run into an issue. So let me press play. So this one's working for me. So obviously it's not broke, but if it's not working for you, if it's floating somehow, let me rotate her real quick. So she's facing the correct way. Okay, if it's not working somehow like this, actually by me rotating her, it screwed it up. So this is what we want. It's a floating head. What you need to do is go to the body in the sequencer and change the animation mode to blueprint. Keyframe that. Additionally, disable the post process. Check mark, keyframe it. Go to the face in the sequencer. Animation mode, animation blueprint, face anim BP, keyframe it. And now her head and her neck is moving. Okay? That's how you fix it. If that still doesn't work for you, what you can do is load the body animation first, the animation, and then load the face. Sometimes that works too. But yeah, I hope that will help a lot of people out there. Again, this is nothing new. This has been going on for a while. And again, I don't know if that's the official way on fixing this, but this is how I've been able to kind of get around this issue. If y'all learned something new today, please do like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers this year. That being said, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.